Hello, hello. Good evening. Good. How are you, Natalie? Hello, Carlos Fernando. Welcome everybody. I hope you are doing great. And I hope that you have had a very good day. Okay. I have four or five students. Good, very good. Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. It is a pleasure to have you here. And to start another day and another opportunity of learning. Okay, there you go. Well, how was your day, my dear people? Hello, welcome Byron, Daisy, Saulito, Ana Julia, Marbelli, Rene David. Good evening, Hello. teacher. Good evening. In my case, my Good day evening. was great. Rene, your day was great. Why? Tell us. Uh, I was in... Santa Ana City. Uh -huh. I was working there. Oh, uh, okay. It was amazing. Okay, you went to Santa Ana. What part of Santa Ana were you at? Uh, in the center of, the, of Santa Ana and one part of the day and the Roa to Guatepeque. Oh, nice. Okay, in the, in the Guatepeque Lake Road. Okay, good. Yeah. Very good. Did you have the chance to go to the lake? Yes. Ah, that's beautiful. Yes. That's a beautiful spot to see. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing, Renee. Let's see, someone else who wants to share about his or her day. Uh-huh. Don't be afraid to practice, people. This is the only moment we have to practice, so it's good and it's better if you take the opportunity to speak because if not later, you are going to be afraid all the time to speak and you will say like, lo escucho, lo oigo, pero no lo hablo. And that's not possible. That's not possible, okay? So. Teacher, in my case right now, there is noise because I don't, I don't know, I, I know in my house. Oh, okay, you are in a party. <laughs> no, really. Okay, good, don't worry, don't worry, Saul. So, but the important thing is that you are here. Well, just remember that uh, today is our class number three of the week. We have classes tomorrow. Uh, sorry for that, but that I took your Friday, but it is it is better than taking an extra day after the end of the curse, so it's better. Era que la moviéramos para viernes o para el final del curso y alargárselos más, and so it's not that good. So it's better if we finish normally. So if you can have the chance to connect tomorrow, right? Or if you are busy or something, try to, to connect. So try to connect to the class and uh, try to do it. So please, everybody, uh, I want to ask to keep your cameras on all the time and to be actively participating in class. Thank you, Oscar, that even when he's on the car, he has his camera on, okay? Recuerden que eso, ese es uno de los requisitos de la clase. Eh, se me ha hecho mucho llamado de atención porque no tenemos las cámaras activas, así que porfa, eh, eso es parte de los requisitos de la clase que su cámara esté activa y que usted esté conectado con su nombre completo. Okay, so that's important. My dear students, um, 
advancements on the platform. How are we doing? How are we doing on the platform? It is very important that we finish everything before Monday, right? So the next week is just for you to close everything. So the platform is going to be checked on Monday as they were mentioning uh, on the previous announcements that we had, okay? La plataforma tiene que estar completada para el día lunes, el día 20 es el último día para tener la lista. ¿Para qué? Para que usted pueda tener todo listo porque el día 23 es nuestra última clase. Para ese día ya tiene que estar completado para el día 20. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen que hacer las revisiones pertinentes para que ustedes se les puedan generar sus accesos para el próximo módulo y para que ustedes tengan todo eh, listo para que no se tarde el próximo inicio de clases. Así que porfa, les quiero, les quiero pedir que trabajemos en eso. El día de mañana la vamos a completar. Igual vamos a dejar el video ahí listo. Vamos a completar las secciones 4 y 5 para que podamos trabajar en los ejercicios juntos, que la podamos ir haciendo al mismo tiempo. Así que mañana cuando se conecten tengan ya su plataforma abierta por si no la han terminado, porque la vamos a ir trabajando juntos. Ok, así me aseguro de que todo el grupo complete todos los ejercicios y nadie se me quede atrás y podamos explicar todo lo concerniente a la plataforma. Ok, es por eso que eso se lo explico en español, para que no nos quede ninguna duda de lo que vamos a hacer el día de mañana. Ok, y este, ténganlo, mañana cuando ya se conecten, ábranla de una vez para que ustedes puedan ir chequeando o puedan ir completando algo que les vaya, eh, que les haga falta. Ok, así que ya les, les comento lo que vamos a hacer el día de mañana en clase. Así que es importante que estemos conectados, pues obviamente por su asistencia y obviamente pues para que le quede todo, todo, todo completo mañana. Así usted tiene su fin de semana libre para poder completar otras cosas, pero su plataforma ya va a estar completa mañana. ¿Ok? Así que, ¿qué vamos a tener listo el día de mañana cuando nos conectemos? The platform. The platform, the platform right? Platform. The platform. We need to have the platform on when we connect so we can work on it and we can complete it, okay? Mañana la vamos a dejar completa toda, toda, toda y vamos a eh, hacer hasta el último examen para que no tengamos que estar ahí que sí, mañana la mando, mañana la mando y el lunes los estén ahí eh, llamándoles que por qué no hemos trabajado. Mañana la vamos a tener lista. Así que esas, es, eh, por mi parte, me quería asegurarme de que ustedes completaran todo y que todos lo hicieran al mismo tiempo. Así que, porfa, mañana vamos a hacer eso en clase. Well, so today, today we are going to work a little bit on permission, obligation, and prohibition, right? Because yesterday we were talking about body language, right? We were talking about the different expressions that we do with our body when we move and everything. So today we are going to work and we are going to talk about these three things, permission, obligation, and prohibition, okay? Permission is when you ask if you can do something, right? Obligation is when you are forced to do something, right? You have to do it like this. And prohibition is when you cannot do something. For example, what is something that you cannot do in class? What is a prohibition from the class? Turn off the camera. To turn off the camera, it's a prohibition, right? Born to be wild, the ones that do not have the camera. What is a, an obligation from the class? We need to have the camera on all the time. We need to have the camera on all the time. That is your obligation. What is another obligation that we have in class? We need to complete the platform. You need to complete the platform. Uh -huh. What is the other one, Saul? <laughs> We need to, pra to practice in the class. You need to practice your English in the class. That is your obligation, right? Another obligation that we have. Give me all the ones that you have. What do you need to do? In the class every day. Exactly like that. Ding, ding, ding. Right? We need to connect to every class. How many minutes? 
one 60 hour. Minutes. 60 minutes. 60 one hour, minutes. right? 60 minutes. 60 minutes, right? You need to be connected for 60 minutes with your camera on and to participate in class. Those are obligations. And prohibitions are like turn off the camera to be naked in the class, I mean, with no share of something, right? In camiseta or sin camisa. No, that's a prohibition. You cannot be like that, right? Too sexy for the class. So, uh, but no, we cannot do it. So that's a prohibition. To speak Spanish, too much Spanish. Prohibition, it's prohibited. To not attend the class, to miss the class, another prohibition, right? To uh, listen to your name on the attendance and not to say present teacher. That's a prohibition. Permissions that we can ask. What type of permissions can we ask in class? Can I participate, for example? Can I participate? Exactly. One of the permissions yes, that we can ask. Very good. To raise your hand, to participate. For example, if you are sick, you can say, teacher, I am going to be here with my camera and everything, but I am a listener because I am very sick. So that is another permission, right? To change the group, right? Do you have permission to change groups? Can work in, in group. You can work in groups, exactly. That's another permission. But imagine if you are in intermedio dos and you say like, I, I am going to connect to basic today. Do you have permission to change groups? No. No, right? We don't have permission I for that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Very good answer. So those are very good examples of permission and obligation, right? And for sure, uh, the other one is permission, obligation, and what was the other one? Prohibition. Right, those are the three forms that we are going to work on today. But in order to work on these ones, we have a specific forms and I am going to show them to you right now. We have three different forms that are very simple. Let me show them to you. In order to talk about permission, obligation and prohibition, okay? My book is not well done, okay? Mi libro es el que está pando. Su computador está bien. Don't worry. <laughs> my teacher, what's that? <laughs> it's my book, right? It's not your computer. In order to talk about permission, what words can we use? To talk about permission. Okay. Can and? It's, 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 and allow with allow to you are allowed to be plus allowed exactly. allowed exactly allowed right allowed it's permitir right you are allowed to in class you are allowed to speak english you are allowed to participate you are allowed to work in groups you are allowed to have fun right allow you are allowed tienes permiso de for obligation we have two specific words have to and got to. Got okay. to. You have to and you have got to. Another one that we can use for obligation. There is another one. Which one is it? There is one can, word. Must. 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 There you go. Must. must. Must is another word that you can use for obligation. Right? So you can use must. That is another form of a obligation. You must speak English. You must listen. You must participate, right? That is a very a strong obligation, right? A very strong obligation with must. When you say you have to study, you have to work. Yeah, it's your obligation. But a very strong obligation form is must. It is not like tú tienes que hacerlo. Must is like debe hacerlo. There is no option, right? And for prohibition, what can you use to talk about prohibition? Can't, you can't, 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 aren't, allowed. You aren't allowed to. Allowed to. You aren't allowed to. Okay. So 
it is very simple to use these three uh, forms to express these three types of sentences. What is the first example that we have for permission? You can turn left can here. Here. You can turn left here. The next one, you are allowed to pass here. Here. The next one, for obligations, what are the examples? You have to turn the left here. You have to turn left here. What about the other one? You, you got to pass here. You got, to pass, you got here. to pass here. Very good. And for prohibitions? You can turn left here. And the, the next one? You aren't, you aren't allowed, allowed to pass, here. pass here. You aren't allowed to pass here. Very good job. So here we have a short example with a conversation on the street. And it says, uh, Daisy, can you help me to read the first three lines? Sure. You know these highways are really great, but the road seems are pretty confusing. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Elizabeth, can you help me to read the first three lines? The same. The same? Yes. You know? Or um, what do No, you... no, that one, the same, the same. Uh, you know these highways are really great, but the road things are pretty confusion. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, it is Rosario. Help me to read the first three lines. Vamos a mover hasta que no tengamos errores. Vamos. You know, then he way are really, really great about the road scene are. Uh -huh. Are. Uh, are pretty confusing. Okay, good. Let's continue with the same. Byron, help me to read the first three lines. You know, the highways are really great, but the road things are pretty confusing. Elmer, help me to read the first ones. Hasta que no nos equivoquemos. Let's see. You know, these highways are really great, but the, the road swing are pretty confusing. Okay, very good. Let's continue, Sara Maria, the same three. I cannot listen to you, Sarita. No le escucho. No, I cannot listen. Tal vez desconectamos los audífonos. Probemos desconectándolos. Can I participate? Yes, in a second. In, you are next, okay? Sarita, go ahead. No, nothing. Okay, go ahead, because Sarita cannot. Okay, you know, these highways are really great but the road signs are pretty confusing. What? <laughs> okay, good, good, good. What happens, people, when you don't know something? What do you have to do? What is your obligation in that case? Ask about that. Ask about it, right? If you don't know the pronunciation, is your obligation as a student to say, teacher, how do you pronounce this? Teacher, how do you pronounce that before you read? So, and it's my obligation to help you. Well, I, I do it because I love it, right? But I need to help you. Questions about pronunciation. On these, the first three lines. Questions. Teacher, how do you pronounce? How do you say? Don't be. Teacher, how do you pronounce head wise? Aha, uh -huh. highways. 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 Practice with me. Highways. 
Highways. Highways. Highways. Questions. Highways. Pregunten. Teacher Nati, what do you pronounce sign? How do you? How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce signs? Right? Signs. In this one, we need to be very careful because there are many other words that are, for example, when you say sign, sign, it's to firmar, right? But you have, for example, sing, right? Sing, that is cantar, okay? So you have to be very careful with that. So sign and sing, signs, signs, señales, signs. Another one. More questions. Teacher Nati, how do you pronounce confusing? Confusing, confusing, confusing. Thank you. Confusing. Okay, this one is these, these, a long sound because it's a plural form. And you say, you know, these highways are really great, right? Okay, Sarita. Okay, let me just let me just help Sarita. Okay, so in this case you say, you know, these highways are really great, but it's not but, it's but, but but, but the road, road the road 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 right the old the road old road signs signs are pretty are pretty okay that is for saul that was the mistake that saul had pretty 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 confusing confusing pretty confusing okay it says you know, you know, these, you know, these, highways, these highways are really great. Highways, highways are really great. But the road signs, the road signs, are, signs are, pretty confusing. are pretty confusing. Pretty confusing. Pretty confusing. Okay, very good job. Now, turn off the microphone. Okay, apaguen el micrófono y leanlo en voz alta. I am going to read it. And I'm going to leave my microphone open. Up, uh, close your microphone and read. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Open the microphone. You know. You know. You know. You know. No, you know, the highways are really great, the but the roads are, really but the roads are, signs signs are pretty are confusing. Are pretty confusing. Are pretty confusing. You know, did you are listen? Pretty. Did you listen how beautiful you sound? Se oyen que lindo se oyen cuando tenemos pronunciación correcta. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. You know. This everybody, everybody. You know, you know, you know these highways are really great. great. Oh, the roads are really pretty confusing. Pretty, 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 pretty confusing. Okay, let's continue with the next lines. These four lines. I am going to ask Ana Julia, help me. Mm, what do, do this line on the road mean? They, they must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. Aha. Hello. Hello. How do you pronounce that one? Hello. Allowed. 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 Okay, allowed. Damari Merari, go ahead. Allowed. Okay, but the, the four lines. Hmm. They must mean uh, you aren't alone to pass here. Mm, a little bit. Nelson Rolando, starting here. Okay. Hmm. What do these lines of the road mean? 
a must mean you aren't allowed pass here. To pass here, very good. Let's go with uh, Giselle, can you help me? And then Nati. Okay, Giselle, Giselle. Nati, go ahead. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. Very good pronunciation. Excellent job. Emma. Emma Jamilet. Hello, teacher. Go ahead. Read it, please. This part. Your microphone, sweetie. And then Sandra. Emma, se le apagó el micrófono. This one. Where are you? We are here. What do these lines on the road mean? Okay. Um, what do these lines on the road mean? Continue with the next one. They must mean to aren't allowed to pass here. Very good. Sandra Yanet, go ahead. Mm, what do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. Very good pronunciation. Excellent job, right? Here we have a similar pronunciation. We have these here and we have another these here. So it says, what, hmm, say, hmm, what do these lines on the road, road mean? They must mean, must, must. They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. They must mean you aren't allowed, allowed with the at the end, right? Allowed to pass here. Go with me. Hmm, what do these lines on the road mean? Practice with me. Open your microphone. Hmm, what do these lines on the road mm. mean? What, what do these lines, lines, lines on the road mean? They must mean you are they allowed must mean to pass here. They must Good. mean you they are must allowed to pass here. You are to here. Hmm. Very good. 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 Now, let's go starting from the beginning. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. Go ahead. You, you know, these you know, highways, are, highways really are really great, but the road signs are, really signs really are pretty confusing. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you are allowed to pass here. Very good job. You see, a different thing. It's a different story now. Let's go with the next big paragraph. René David, help me. Okay, your audios, I cannot listen to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow now. I wonder what that sign up uh, ahead means. Okay, it may mean. It may mean you, you've got to take a, a left in this line. Very good. Let's see, Marbelli, help me. I wonder. No, I don't I wonder think so. What... Here. Oh, sorry. No, I don't think so. I am going to pass this car in front of use. It's going to slow. Now I wonder what the thing up I have means it may mean you have got 
to take a left in the line. Thank you very much, Maribeli. Nati, go ahead. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It may mean that you've got to take a left in this lane. Very good job, right? In this lane. It's not line, it's lane, right? Very good job, Nati. Excellent pronunciation. Saul, go ahead. Okay, teacher. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going to slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. It might mean you go got to take a left in this land. Lane, lane. Lane, lane, sorry, lane. Very good job. Okay, questions on pronunciation. Teacher, how do you say? Teacher, how do you say the finally word? I don't know, it's strange, strange. This one, lane. Lane. At the end. At the end. Oh, this one. Straight. Yeah. Straight. 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 I will just go straight. It's like I will just go straight. On one way, right? Straight. Questions, questions, questions. More questions? Remember that these things are personal. Don't worry. Uh-huh. What do you say in front of in front of us? In front of us, in front of us. In front of us. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow, right? Too slow. It's too slow. It's like mm -hmm. nee, 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 nee. it's too slow. No, I don't think so. Say I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. This one is the short version of these, right? This is singular, okay? And in this one, we were talking about plural, right? These highways, longer sound, these highways, because it's a plural form. In this one, I'm going to pass this car in front of us, this, quick. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means means right with s at the end up ahead up ahead is like I, I adelante, enfrente. it may mean you've got to take you've got to take a left on a left in this lane right no i don't think so go with me no i don't think so no i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so no, i don't think so no i'm going to pass this car in front of us I'm, I'm going, going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. It's going, going to too slow. slow. Now I wonder slow. what that sign up ahead means. Now, now I wonder what that sign up ahead, up ahead means. It may mean you've got to take a left in this lane. It may mean this line on this in this lane. Good. Let's let's finish so we can practice everything. Or maybe it means. Or maybe it means. Or maybe it means. You can turn left if you want to. You can turn left if you want to. I think I, I will just go straight. I will just go straight. I will just go straight. I think I will just go straight. Right. I think I'll just go straight. I think I'll just go straight. Okay, now let's go over the complete conversation. Right now, microphone's off. I am going to read it. And then when I finish, you start, okay? I want to listen to everybody, please. Practice. Okay. Listen, right now, just listen. Microphones off. You know, these highways are really great, but the road signs are pretty confusing. Hmm. What do these lines on the road mean? They must mean you aren't allowed to pass here. No, I don't think so. I'm going to pass this car in front of us. It's going too slow. Now, I wonder what that sign up ahead means. 
it may mean you've got to take a left in, in this lane. Or maybe it means you can turn left if you want to. I think I'll just go straight. Okay. okay. You know. Go ahead. Everybody. Everybody. You everybody. Know. One, you know. two, three, go. You know. You know. I just got straight. Very good job. You see, I didn't listen to any killing pronunciation on the conversation. It is just a matter of practice, okay? These type of exercises are very helpful for pronunciation. Usted diría, ah, pero es una conversación, es solo un poquito. But imagine all the mistakes that we had only in one conversation. Se fijan todos los errores que teníamos, solo en una conversación. Imagine if we read a book, if we read big paragraphs. So that helps a lot. Every time that you read something, go and look for the pronunciation, okay? Ahora tenemos tantas ventajas. Yes, I question. I, for me, in the read book, um, ¿cómo puedo darme cuenta que no estoy pronunciando bien cuando voy a leer varias palabras? Que... Okay, And that is a very good question. Es una muy buena pregunta. Y creo que todos nos damos cuenta cuando pronunciamos algo mal. Y usted dice... Esto suena como muy raro, suena como, imagínense que dice usted, por ejemplo, en esta, you can know, hay gente que lo lee, you can know, you can know, can know, can know, 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 now, oh. the best thing that you can do, for example, take little paragraph, agarren párrafos chiquitos primero, y si tiene una palabra donde usted se traba y dice, no, está, no sé ni cómo pronunciarlo, google it, you can google it, and say like pronunciation of, en Google, si usted le pone pronunciación de y pone la palabra, si dice pronunciation of highways, le salen videos, le, salen, eh, le sale el, el traductor con la boca, hasta cómo tiene que poner los labios, eh, le sale la pronunciación correcta, sale para escucharle en micrófono. So there are many options, but we sometimes are very lazy. It's like, ay, no sé cómo se dice, saber. Iré por el mundo sin saberlo. But we don't investigate. We need to be very curious. In some cases, we love music. Nos encanta la música. Eh, andamos haciendo invocaciones, ¿verdad? inventándonos palabras, letras, líricas, etc. You have the lyrics of the songs. Ahí están las letras en internet de todas sus canciones favoritas en inglés. Listen to the singer. Read the lyrics. Okay. Ahí estaba yo de mis, ¿qué? 12 años, pausando los Backstreet Boys cada vez y repetía la frase, la volvía a poner, la repetía y la volvía a poner, la repetía. So, it is a matter of being curious. Okay? It is a matter of being curious. But little by little, o sea, no va a empezar leyendo un libro entero. ¿ve? Agarre párrafos, agarre conversaciones como estas y vaya, se diva. You know, these highways are really great. Si puede conseguir, o sea, si puede buscar en YouTube, por ejemplo, párrafos que tengan el audio, Puede ir haciendo la imitación del audio. ¿okay? Pausa el audio, lo retrocede, lo vuelve a poner, lo retrocede, lo vuelve a poner. Y hasta que la pronunciación suya sea tan idéntica a la de listening como sea posible. So, lleva trabajo, sí, pero ayuda un montón. I can give you many details about this, but that is the only way. Practice, right? A lot of practice. If you have doubts, investigate. Siempre hay, hay palabras que uno se topa, así como allowed, por ejemplo. Usted dice, they must mean you aren't, ¿cómo, cómo pronuncias esto? Right? Go and investigate on that moment. So that's the important part. We need to be very, very curious. So it is my recommendation. You need to start with small paragraphs. Empecemos con párrafos chiquitos. 
vamos buscando pronunciaciones. Busquemos la pronunciación eh, de la palabra o del párrafo completo. So it can be helpful for you to repeat. ¿okay? Al principio como periquito. ¿verdad? Vamos como repitiendo todo. Escuchamos, repetimos, escuchamos, repetimos. Aún lo pueden hacer con sus series favoritas. Si les gusta alguna serie en inglés en Netflix o en YouTube o donde sea, póngale los subtítulos en inglés and repeat the lines. That's another tip that you can use. Okay? So those are like kind of little tips that I can help you with for you to improve your speaking. Reading is going to help you with grammar, with vocabulary, with pronunciation, with listening, with many things. So it is very, very helpful. So let's practice. Let's continue practicing, okay? In these ones, we have different signs. We have different signs. What do they mean? What, what this must mean? Here you have different options, right? We have do different. Not, do not touch. Do, do not, not touch. touch, right? Do not touch. Every time that you see a button, what do you want to do? Push it, press it. Push. No, do not touch, okay? It might be in the alarm. <laughs> it might be the alarm, so don't touch it. Y ese botón que hace. <laughs> pee, pee. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. Do not touch. If you want to use it with one of the phrases, you say, it must mean what? Do not touch. Do not touch the water. Do not touch my phone. Do not touch my phone. Okay, that's very good. You went to the next exercise, but that's fantastic. You are going to create your rules, and that's fantastic. What about the next one, number two? Swimming allowed. Swimming allowed, right? You can swim here. You can swim here. But what happens if I do this one? What will be the meaning? We are going to die. You cannot swim. <laughs> we are going to die. You can't you can swim. swim. You can't swim. You can't swim. swim here, okay? You can't swim here. What about number three? What is the meaning of number three? Wear hard hats. Wear hard hats. Hard hats are the ones that you use in construction sites, for example. That is a hard hat, okay? That is not a cap. That is not a hat. It's a hard hat. Un casco. What about it, number four? It's a, yep. It's like a recyclable. Recyclable, yes, Sarita. Uh, solo quería saber si me escuchaba porque Yay. me costaba. <laughs> I can listen to you perfect. Okay. Don't worry. Solo quería. Uh -huh. Gracias. Oh, tell me the meaning of this one. <laughs> what is the meaning of this one? Yes. What is the meaning? Recycle. Uh, Recy recyclable. 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 Yes. Recycle is the, the, the action. Recyclable is that something can be recycled. What about number five? What is the meaning of number five? Fastened seat belts. Fastened seat belts. Okay, fastened seat belts. Number six. No bicycle. No bicycle. No bicycle. No bicycle. No bicycle. Number seven. Drink, drink water. water. Drinking, drinking water. water, right? Drinking, drinking water. water. And what is the meaning of this? It is not an action of drinking the water. It's like the water is okay to be drunk. Okay, you can drink this type of water, drinking water. What about number eight? No playing ball. No playing ball. No playing ball. Okay, no playing balls, good. No soccer allowed. <laughs> no playing soccer on the street, right? That is the meaning of that one. And- No playing ball in my house. No playing ball on the street, right? What about this on one? The... What is the meaning of this one? What do you think? Customs. Customs, very good. Or luggage will be checked, okay? The luggage will be checked. Customs. What about this one? If this one is drinking water. No drinking water. No drinking water, right? What about this one? 
pets no, allowed. Pets, pets allowed. Or dogs okay. allowed, right? And if I do this? No dogs allowed. No pets allowed. No pets allowed, no dogs allowed. What about this one? No asking for right. <laughs> what is the meaning of that one? Invent a meaning for this one. It's okay. It's, <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay, don't ask for rights. <laughs> I think it, it will be that one, right? Okay, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not okay. What about this one? Cameras? It's allowed. Cameras allowed. Allow. Cameras allowed, Cameras allowed, right? Cameras allowed. allowed. Okay, here we have other examples. For example, here you say, remove your shoes. In which part or in which place can you find this, uh, this symbol? Remove your shoes. ¿Dónde encontrarían este mensaje? Remove your shoes. For example, in Japan. In Japan, right? In Japan. Japan. In the airport, right? At the airport. You have to remove your shoes. You have to mm. take out your shoes. And there you go, all through customs, right? Allá va usted por toda la... <laughs> por todo el aeropuerto con los zapatos en la mano, right? Remove your shoes. You have to be taking them off and putting them on and, and everything, right? Don't litter. What is the meaning of litter? Do you know it? No, I don't. Litter is when you put the garbage on the street, on the floor. Okay. Okay, that's the meaning of litter, no contaminar, right? The next one, children are allowed to enter. In which part of the country will you see this sign? Children are allowed to enter. ¿Dónde viéramos esto? Este mensaje. In the park. In the park, right? In the park. You can't go off the path. You can't go off the path. No te puedes salir del camino. You can't go off the path. Where would you see this? On the street. On the street. Another place. On Maybe. the highways. On the highways. On the mountains. Good. On the mountains. If you go off the path, what is going to happen? You get lost. You will get lost, right? Hello, hello, and you're going to be lost. No dogs allowed. In which part will you find this sign? No dogs allowed. In restaurants. In restaurants, right? In the and, bank. Yeah, at the bank, right? Fishing is allowed. Where would you see this? Fishing is allowed. In the lake. Okay, at the lake, right? At the lake, you can see fishing is allowed. It is not okay, but it's it's permitted, right? Fishing is allowed. Very good. So I am going to call the attendance because we are going to do an activity uh, with your friends. I'm going to stop sharing. And here we go. Chan, chan, chan. There we go. And I'm going to call the attendance. Remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Let me just open this thing. Okay. Ana Julia? Present teacher. Thank you. Let's continue here. Realidad. Byron? Present teacher. Eh, Carlos Fernando? Present. Cristina Vigail? La idea es que bajo qué responsabilidad? Cristina Vigail? Cristi, Cristi? Se acabo de ver conectado. Ok. The next one. Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Elmer Mauricio. I'm here teacher. Elvia Sofía. Present. Emma Jamilet. I'm here teacher. Giselle. Iris Rosario. Present. Manuel Alejandro. Present Marisa. teacher. Marbelli Jocelyn. Present teacher. Marlon Ernesto. Marlon. Natalie Geraldine. 
here. Nelson Rolando. Present. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica. Patricia. Ok, Patricia, Patricia. René David. I'm here, teacher. Sandra Janet. I'm here, teacher. Sara María. Present, teacher. Saúl. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, I am just missing Patricia Veronica. Teacher Nati. Yes. You don't call me. Elizabeth, yes. Elizabeth del Carmen. Yes, present teacher. <laughs> yes, you are here. <laughs> okay, but I, I got you there in the line. Don't worry. Okay, good. So we are going to work a little bit on uh, the practice for this topic. And I am going to go here. Let me just open here. Okay, let me just go back to the book. Here it is. Okay, based on what we have been talking about, you are going to invent your own rules for the class, okay? You are going to invent your rules for the class and you are going to do this in couples. I am going to go and send you to work in couples. You are going to have a partner and you are going to invent your rules for the class. You can use the three things, permission, obligation, and prohibition, okay? You can use other examples far from the ones that we already mentioned. So you are going to create at least, at least from five to 10 sentences, okay? You can use permission, obligation, or prohibition, the three forms, but you need to complete at least from five to 10 rules for the class, okay? Rules for the English class with teacher Nati. That's what we are going to be working on right now. So you are going to work in couples. Van a trabajar en parejas. Ahorita los voy a enviar a trabajar. And you are going to do this. We are going to do this in seven minutes. So for the ones that we have left, and we are going to come back and share. So one of you has to write, okay? Alguno de ustedes tiene que ir copiando, o en realidad la pareja tiene que copiar para que puedan reportar, okay? So we are going to go and create this one. I am going to give you seven minutes for this and we are going to go back when the time is over. Okay. Groups of two or three accept my invitation from five to ten rules for the class. Go ahead. It is an obligation for you to practice. Accept my invitation. Very good, very good. Thank you. Okay, Nati, can you join the group, Nati? There you go. Giselle. Recibió la invitación, Giselle, para unirse a los grupos. No. Hola, Giselle. ¿Me escuchas? Okay, let's go and see what happens. Remember my, remember my dear students that we need to create rules for the class. You can use the three different forms, permission, obligation, and prohibition with the examples that we provided in class.
permission you uh, marbelli you uh, read tu puedes escribir right yes Reps. Okay. right 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 okay thank you okay Okay, let's work. We only have four minutes. Yeah. Hello, hello. 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 How are you doing? Right now, nothing. Nothing. You're not doing anything. <laughs> no, teacher. ¿Por qué no estamos haciendo nada? ¿Qué pasa? Um, We need to be writing the sentences, okay? Si no estamos trabajando, aunque sean individuales, trabajenlas cada quien. Ana Julia, yeah, Ana Julia is connected, Damaris is connected, Saúl is connected, we work together. Aquí están los tres, trabajen juntos. Okay. Teacher, está bien esta. Uh -huh. eh, you can use the cell phone in class. You can't or you can? You can't use the cell phone in class. Very good, yes. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's create the other ones, at least five, okay? Continue, continue. The CEO. Hello. Hey. Hello, DJ. Aha, uh -huh. how are you doing? <laughs> Give me the examples that you have. I, I talk about the work. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You only have two minutes to finish. Ahí tienen el reloj arriba, ¿cuánto les queda? Two minutes to finish. Work, work. I will come back. I will go to another okay, room. Okay, thanks. Come on. Hello. Questions? You can to ask up of the clock. You can, you can to ask? No. Después de can, no podemos poner tú. I can to go? No. I can't ask. You can ask. Exactly. You can ask questions. You can ask for help. But you cannot say I can too. Can to no puede, nunca puede ir eh, seguido de tú. Can. Uh, you can ask questions. Very good. Time. Excellent. That's the way. Very good. Okay. Okay. You have one minute left. I will go and see the next group. Okay. Yep. Hello. Hello. Como vamos? Hello. Holly. Hello. Hi. Hello. Como vamos, Manuel? Nati? Le pregunté a mi pero no me respondió. Ok, Manuelita. I wrote my thoughts. Oh, but in, 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 did you share them with Nati? Los compartiste con Natalie para que vean si, si estamos bien ahí. Ok, si los escribieron en el chat, copienlos porque se borra todo. Ok, I will just go back and check. Welcome back. Welcome, teacher. Okay. Welcome. Hello. Good, very good. So please, I need you to send me all the rules that you created on the chat in WhatsApp so I can correct, okay? 
So please write them there. And I am going to start correcting them. I mean, little by little. Please, one person from the group, okay? One person from the two, send it. If not, I'm going to have double answers. Uno de los dos, mándelas. Así que pónganse de acuerdo quién la va a enviar para no tener repetidos, okay? So please, let's do that. I am going to be waiting for that and I'm going to correct during the day. Have a beautiful night, my dear students. And we're going to stop right here. I'm going to wait for all the ones to connect. Just okay. Thank you, teacher, for this class. Don't Thank worry. You. Thank you very much. Bye. Please. See you tomorrow. Bye. Teacher, see you tomorrow. Yes. Teacher, sorry. Bye, Marlon. Yes. Eh, no escuché mi, mi, el nombre. Cuando, yeah, eh, I, I was like, Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. And you didn't ah, sí. answer. <laughs> sí, okay. que me levanté. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya lo caché que se fue a pagar. Sí, pero so, regresé y ya no, era no, demasiado tarde. ¿no? But I mark you there, don't worry. Please send right. me the sentences on the chat. Uno de los dos de la pareja o del grupo, mándenme las oraciones al chat de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Have a beautiful night, students. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Welcome. Bye-bye. Gracias. You're welcome. Have a beautiful night.